Yeah. Uh, have you seen Nope, Tia? Yes, I have, and I don't like it. Wow, Gosh. really? Okay. Wow. Well, we got to talk about that. Some strong you opinions. You don't here. like Nope? Why don't you like Nope? Um, I think, okay, I hate to be that guy, but I don't really hate it that much. It's overhyped because I think it was a it was a cool movie, but honestly, if I knew what it was about for real, I would not have went into the theaters to go see that. I would have waited until it was free. It was not... It was not scary. I don't even know how it was a horror. I thought the premise was kind of okay. First of all, let's talk about that monkey scene. That that monkey scene when the monkey killed like the people or whatever hurt them really bad. That was the dumbest scene ever. It was a great scene. Don't get me wrong. But why was it in the movie? This is what I call the author didn't kill their baby. It was a it was a beautiful moment and it was great cinema. But it didn't fit. The author needed to kill his baby, kill this beautiful moment because it didn't and fit in and it just confused the audience i remember looking at reviews for hours on tiktok and stuff because so to see people agree with me because i was like why was that in there it was pissing me off and i was so like, i think yeah. i think the problem with this and why it's so diverse is one first and foremost it was never advertised as a horror movie people just assumed that it was going to be a horror movie and none of his movies have really been horror movies they're all been thrillers with elements mm-hmm. of like things that are meant to scare you even though Nope wasn't a horror movie, there were definitely parts that generally were terrifying. But n- none of his movies are necessarily meant to be horror. I except for maybe Get Out. That, that, I feel like that was the most horror-like. And oh, I guess the you know what? I take that back. Us and Get Out were definitely horror. There was like us had slasher elements. Get Out was definitely scary if you're a black person. But <laughs> for the most part, they're not they're not meant to be super straight horror. They're most they're meant to be lean more on the thriller side. And Nope wasn't like he never said it was a horror movie. People just assumed that because of his last two movies. Um, but also peop it's a matter of people because they're used to thinking so hard about his movies, they overthink it and they ignore the message that's right in their face. The whole movie was about spectacle and about what people will do to be seen on the internet, as well as the expo- exploitation of um animals, especially in um film. And on uh, was it the Okay, spoiler alert, first and foremost, because we're definitely about to get deep in spoilers about Nope. Oh, yeah. First, oh, yeah. And, first and foremost, Jean Jacket was being, was, um, the way Jean Jacket relates to Gordy was that Jean Jacket was an animal that they were literally trying to record so that they could get famous and make money off of it. And mm-hmm. Gord, Gordy was another animal that was being used and exploited by these people, a wild animal that shouldn't be on a stage, that has the strength to rip people's arms off, um, be, being used for this sitcom. And then Gordy was also a callback to uh, the Travis the Chimp incident. I don't know if you've heard about that, Tia, but it was like... I did it. I did yeah, it. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a callback to that, but then also that idea of like what happens when you turn an animal or anybody, really, into a spectacle. Yeah, Stephen Yoon's, I, Stephen Yoon's yeah. character, who was the you know the little um, Asian kid on the show, he, um, he, was, uh, he, he didn't really deal with his trauma. He was just kind of trying to recapture the exact same experience of feeling like he had that close connection with the monkey because it didn't kill him with that giant alien <laughs> being that was, was going around murdering people. Like, and like, and, the, like, and oh. it was the same thing with the horses. Like they talk about the horses and how people, you know, you don't look the horse in the eyes and people aren't just aren't listening to this man who is like telling them to like respect, respect this wild animal that we've tamed and are bringing here for you to use in your movie. And it was just about, yeah, like respecting animals <laughs> as well as, you know, exploitation of animals, as well as people doing, like, going to extremes to become famous, essentially. Yeah, and then especially with, like, the Haywoods, like, it, it, there was also, like, again, that, because, um, you know, every Jordan Peele movie has that, like, I, I don't want to say, like, um, element of black trauma, but there's definitely an element of black trauma in Dope. And it's, like, how far, like, I, I I don't know. I just saw like a lot of the stuff that happened in Nope like really resonated with me, especially as like a black creative. It's like how far we have to go to be respected, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like how far, how much we have to do, and like how we always have, we're always the ones putting our bodies on the line when other creatives don't have to work that hard, you know? So it's like we're exploiting ourselves in order to serve like an industry that doesn't really care about us yeah that was definitely an element of that of how like they were literally the first people to 
use horses in film and they're like some of the best at it but they aren't being used as much as they should right mm-hmm. okay i took it back i don't hate it that was an over exaggeration <laughs> I, I enjoyed the movie but i just thought that some parts like i agree the of course the commentary on using animals as a way like overusing animals is there but gordy made no sense to be in this film because it hinted to too many other things Unless it was planning to be a spinoff for the movie, it just made no sense. It didn't fit in the film. It threw audience members off. It left the audience confused because they thinking it's going to go one way instead of the other. Even if they wasn't overanalyzing, like say if Jordan Peele didn't make this movie, that aspect would still throw the audience off because why was it there? I know it's supposed to add to the theme, but then, you know, the um the Asian character, like it was something that he was, it seemed like something was supposed to happen with that. And I'm like, when is this monkey going to come back into it? We just had this long scene for no reason. Jean Jacket was the monkey coming back. Yeah. <laughs> and murdering him. That's that's where it came back. <laughs> where like he thought like, he could tame the animal again, and he couldn't, and he just died. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, it, yeah, I mean. He was literally yeah. trying to, to, to rouse the animal once again, and this time he didn't survive. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I get why people were like like didn't like it and were confused about certain things about it but yeah i just felt like people were over analyzing it or just like the message was completely going over their head right like logan paul uh that watching people tear him up on twitter was hilarious oh yeah he was confused about the one character that was very blatantly inspired by him which was the yep. dude on a motorcycle who was trying to like film the the alien or and from TMZ. Yeah. That was too obvious. He was he was uh what's it trolling. He was trolling. He knew that it was about him. Nah, he was dead serious, I think. No, nah, he's just an idiot. Um Yeah. <laughs> but what yeah. did he say? I forgot. He was, uh he was like He made a whole I, thread. Yeah, it was like, Nope was a bad movie, it didn't make sense, this is why and it's like Yeah. But uh let's uh get through these next couple of things so we can get the last verse of Black Panther. 